Those among you who understand the Arabic or the Holy Quran, they would have understood by now that the word Nema, that is favors of Allah, favor of Allah, covers whole cre the whole creation. Nothing is left out of it. But the word Itmami Nema, as it is used in this context, means the progressive development of what, uh, whatever Allah has bestowed upon mankind or upon anything. So, this is another word, of, uh, another uh, expression of Rububiyat. So what is the difference between Rububiyat and Nema? That is what has been explained in the end of these verses. That Rabubiyat remains Rabubiyat whatever you may do to do it. But if you turn your backs to the favors of Allah, when they are seen as favors, when the end is, you are kufr. You are counted among kafirin. And the same favors, instead of benefiting you, would be a source of curse to you. Now this is a very distinctive feature of the word favors which does not apply the word rububiyat. Apply to the word rububiyat. Rububiyat is in a way um, so general, so universal in its effect that it doesn't distinguish, doesn't discriminate between right and wrong of the person who is shown that Rububiyat. It doesn't discriminate between the good and the evil as far as its manifestation is concerned. So apparently, the favors of Allah are showered on everybody. But there, the favors are not the end product because a reaction follows which is being washed by Allah and the agencies which are responsible for this system. When a shower, favor is shown to someone, his reaction would determine whether ultimately that favor would be counted as a favor to him or it would turn into a curse to him. And this will be determined by whether he is grateful to Allah, whether he recognizes this favor, recognizes this favor, or he is ungrateful and rejects it, whether he puts it to proper use or improper use. So, among those who are shown favors of Allah are those who are declared by the Holy Quran as a kafirun. While the favors shown here in the list which I have just uh, recited are not the spiritual favors. They are just the material favors. How the child takes shape in the uterus, in the womb of, a, uh, in the belly of his mother, how he develops, how gradually he is being given uh, ears and uh, the heart, the ears and the sides and other faculties. How later on all his requirements are met in the outside world, 
and how he has shown favors of developing, uh, uh, developing uh, sciences. He has a special mode of living. Then Allah shows him more ways of improving things than just living a normal life. From living a normal, normal life, he shift to permanent dwellings and so on and so forth. His clothes are also constantly changing and improving to meet the requirements of the new um, new age, let's say. So all this in nutshell is described by these verses, and no uh, post, no uh, reference is given to prophethood. That shows that the show, the favors shown here are entirely material favors. Yet, if you reject those favors, the word kafirun is used against those who reject those favors. So that shows that there are two types of kafir, two, two types of disbelievers. And that also solves uh, the closeness, no, the, the different connotations of the word kafir. Kufr may mean ingratitude. Kufr also may mean total rejection, conscious rejection of a message. So here the two things join together because in the material terms when you are ungrateful to Allah's favors that kufr means being ungrateful. And those who are ungrateful <coughs> They are the those, they are those who ultimately become kafiruna haqqa. That is, who reject the messages of Allah and incapable of recognizing those higher favors. So this is why it is very essential to keep our relationships on earth correct and right. If we are ungrateful to the material favors of Allah, we are much more likely to be ungrateful to his spiritual favors. If we are ungrateful to our fellow beings, we are much more likely to be ungrateful to Allah. This is why Ahadu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us, Ma lam yashkurin nasa lam yashkurillah. Here is the solution. All the traditions of Ahadu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are based in the Holy Quran. There is not a single tradition which you can rely upon as Huzur Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sayings which have no root in the Holy Quran. It's impossible. So this is a reference, I, I believe, to these verses. Ahadur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam warns us that you should learn to be grateful here on this earth in your material relationships. If you ignore them, the price you have to pay would be far too much. Because with that attitude developed here, you will not be able to recognize Allah's greatest favors, that is Nabuwa, that is Prophethood. So this is why people don't recognize the Prophethood. Now you understand the whole phenomenon, the, the, the mistake why it is committed. The prophets appear in an age where man has become ungrateful to, the, to, to man. Where these values, moral values have uh, gone, down, gone down the better as you say. There is almost total lack of morality. Only there is an artificial civil, civility, an artificial uh, polish to the manners in conduct, but as far as the true values or morals are concerned, no one is grateful to anybody. Even those big powers who uh, use as instruments some kings of smaller states or monarchs or dictators, whenever they have served their purpose and no longer required, they are chucked away like uh, a worn out clothes.